These are shoulder drills for Lindy Hop dancers. I'm Lainey and I'm going to show you the different things that I like to use to engage our shoulders for connection instead of just using our arms. There's a mysterious saying teachers use is, is connect through your core, connect through your body. And what we really mean is we have to actually use good posture and good posture does take some practice. So these are some posture drills as well as some slightly practical applications into our dance practice. I'm going to use some props. I like to use uh, mini bands. These are a type of resistance band. This one is a extra light just because I'm going to use it as a warm up tool. You can use the different levels of resistance for different things as well as I have long resistance bands for different exercises such as this one in the door that we're going to be using. There's a link in the descriptions to all the different bands and these are really, really useful to have for many different things, not just as shoulder drills. I'm going to start with a warm up for my shoulders and we're going to start with no band. <laughs> I'm actually just going to take my shoulders back and rotate them up and back and up and back and up and back. Then I'm going to take my arms and I'm going to open them with my palms out and back, 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 back. I'm going to take my arms to the side, back, open, 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 and then up. Then we have back, 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 back. Then I'm going to rotate my wrists and continue pushing back. Then I'm going to rotate my wrists one more time so my pinkies are back. All right, a little bit of a warm up for our, our arms. You can do multiple reps of this that actually is going to give you quite an arm workout. We're gonna use our resistance band to learn how to engage the muscles in the middle of our backs. We can describe this as squeezing our shoulder blades together. We can also use this description as I'm holding a pencil between my shoulder blades. At the same time, I just want to also imagine I'm just rolling my shoulders back or I'm taking my chest and I'm pressing it a little forwards. All of these cues help us think of our posture and we can practice this in daily life, not just in dancing. Once I have my shoulders back, squeeze my shoulder blades a little bit, I want to make sure I put my neck and stack my head over my shoulders rather than the forward posture of many of us, including myself, use today because of our smartphones. I'm gonna really stack my neck backwards. I'm gonna take my resistance band and I'm gonna hold it in my hands. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine pulling it apart using the muscles in my back. It's a very small motion. I don't wanna use my arms to open. I'm just trying to open up my shoulders and my chest. My shoulders are going to squeeze together. Sometimes it helps to have a friend put their hand on your back so you can feel if you're actually engaging the correct muscles, which is part of your trapezius and your lats on the sides of your, of your torso. However, we just want to make sure that we're not using our arms to create this motion. So I kind of keep my elbows against my body, resting gently against my body as I open just a little. The band doesn't open very far. I'm just trying to learn what it feels like to actually physically turn these muscles on rather than using the arms instead of my back. Thus, resistance band exercise one. Another thing we can do is they're called scapular push-ups or shoulder shrug push-ups and I can imagine what this feels like first by bringing my arms in front of me and I have zombie arms and I pull them back and I have zombie arm and I pull my shoulders back. Zombie arms is bad posture, pulling back my shoulder to understand where I want to try to keep them in space. Now I can do this with a little bit of resistance. So the first version of resistance is I can stand against a wall and standing against the wall, I push back and I pull forwards. So I'm practicing moving my shoulder blades apart and together. 
We do this from the sides. You want to make sure that we're isolating the shoulder blades. Instead of using our whole torsos and bending our arms. So arms stay straight and our shoulder blades are moving. We do this from the side. Our shoulder blades are moving together or apart. So I'm rounding and pushing forwards. You can do this on the floor in a push-up version where I'm pushing away, squeezing together. Pushing and squeezing. And this is the actual push-up version so we can gain a little bit more strength in the scapula area. You can look these up a little more on YouTube by searching for scapular push-ups. Next are my actual practical applications to social dancing and practicing keeping my shoulders back. So one thing I do is I actually bring my arms wide since I typically have a little wider of a arm width when I'm social dancing. This is the natural angle my shoulders want to open. So I'm going to open up a little wider instead of the narrow version that we did in our exercise. So I'm gonna open wide, I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together, and I'm just gonna try to open this band using my back. So this is arms, arms, and this is my back. It's just a little bit of resistance. I'm not trying to pull the band apart, just trying to make it taut. Now, I'm gonna take this band, and I'm gonna place it against a wall so that my hands don't move. And I can practice my rock steps by engaging the band and keeping my back working. Whether I'm practicing for the right foot or the left foot. So from the side, squeeze the band, huh? and rock, step. Or uh, the other way. You will feel this in your shoulders. They will be working really, really hard. It's not an exact application to social dancing since right now we're using two arms instead of one hand as we usually connect in our open position. For followers, we have another version that we can practice our swivels. We usually can practice swivels too, it's super fun. So again, I'm gonna take the band, squeeze it, open my shoulders, place it against the wall to make sure my arms don't move too much. I wanna minimize the action of motion in my arms and then I can practice my swivels and continuing to engage through my upper body. So that looks like this. One way to practice these shoulder drills and the footwork at the same time is to take a resistance band and I'm going to tie a knot in the band. This way I can trap it in the door I could also just tie it to the handle on the other side, but I just need to make sure there's an anchor point so I can hold on to the band. So now I'm gonna trap it in the door. I got it on the first try. <laughs> that never happens. Okay, so you can see I have this band anchored to the door and I have a stretchy band against the door frame. As a follower, I'm going to grab my right hand onto the band and I can practice my Lindy Hop footwork and my rock steps this way. And if I was practicing my rock steps, I'd have my band on the right and I would have my rock step and rock step and rock step. So I can practice engaging through my shoulder and trying to keep my arm as loose as possible, but still using my hand because I'm holding on to an object just like I would be holding on to my partner's hand. So once again, that's rock, step. And I'm using all that shoulder squeezing action that we worked on a few minutes ago. As a leader, I can do this with my left hand as if I'm holding on to my partner's hand and I have my rock, step, and rock step. And I encourage you to take these as rock step pause and bounce instead of rock step forwards rock because this is not an accurate description of what we're using on a social dance. So instead really focus on this as rock step and we have some control at this moment. Rock step, control at this moment. So with our Lindy Hop footwork I can practice this as 
One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. On seven, eight, I'm stretching away to create this tension, and then I continue the tension on my rock step. That's for the leader's footwork. Followers footwork, we're using our right hand, and I can do this with the rock steps. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Build the tension, triple step, five, six, and move away. Or I can also practice this with my swivels. As a follower, I'm gonna take this footwork as a round two and three and four, five, six. I'll wrap into my swivel, engaging through my shoulders. We practice triple step. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are a couple examples of what we can do with resistance bands and how to build some awareness of what our shoulders are doing for our swing dancing and our lindy hop.